What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today Evasion came out with the official iOS 7 jailbreak and I'm going to walk you through the entire process using an iPad. Now the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you back up your device if you haven't done so already. You're also going to need a computer running Windows XP or higher, a Mac on 10.6 or higher, or Linux x86 or x86-64. You're also obviously going to need an iPhone, iPod, or iPad running iOS 7 through iOS 7.0.4 and obviously a USB cable to connect to your device to your computer. Now, if you have a passcode on your device, then you wanna make sure you turn that off because that can cause issues with the jailbreak. And also, when you're in the jailbreaking process, don't mess with iOS or iTunes until the process is completely done unless prompted to. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that over-the-air updates can cause issues with evasion jailbreak and can make the jailbreak fail. So what you can do to fix this is just restore your device to iOS 7.0.4 using iTunes. So once you do a restore using iTunes, then you should be able to do this just fine. Now, I'm gonna put a link in the description below for you guys to click on evasion.com, and you just go to this website. If you're on Mac, then you're gonna click right here. If you're on Windows, then you're going to click right here. Now, I've already downloaded this, but I just clicked on the Mac, and it came up here. And what I did was drag this over to my desktop and drop it on my desktop. So now I'm going to minimize this and you can see this is what you get, the evasion DMG file. So what we're going to do is just double click on this and it's going to install the actual jailbreak. So once you have that, it should open up a window that looks just like this. Then you're going to double click on evasion 7. And if it doesn't open up and it gives you a prompt saying that it can't open up, then what you want to do is right click on it, click open and then it should open up just right here. So you can click open again and it'll open right up. So now what you wanna do is make sure that your device does not have that passcode on there. So mine doesn't. Okay, so we're good to go. So just make sure that your device is plugged into your computer and click jailbreak. Now this does take about five minutes or less to go all the way through the process. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through this so you don't have to sit through the entire thing. All right, so at this point, once it boots all the way up, you can see here that the prompt on the screen says you to unlock the device and tap on the new Evasion 7 icon. So we're gonna do just that. I'm gonna slide to unlock, and it should be on the last page here. Didn't mean to click on Reddit. Okay, now let's open up Evasion. And that's all you have to do, just tap it one time, and then it should reboot your device. Alright, so it says that it's done on the computer. Just go ahead and give your device a little bit longer and you should see the evasion logo and it's going to finish up the jailbreaking process. Alright, so now at this point it's completely done. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Slide to unlock. And if we swipe over right here, you're going to see that Cydia is now installed. So if we tap on that to open it up, it is going to prepare the file system and this can take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up through this. All right, so at this point it is rebooting and it should be good to go. Let's slide to unlock. We'll swipe over here, open it up, choose that we are a user, tap done. And there is your new jailbroken iPad. Now keep in mind that this is a untethered jailbreak, so that means every time you reboot, you won't have to reboot with evasion. You can just reboot and it's going to work. Everything will work just fine. Now, when you get this prompt right here, it says essential upgrade to upgrade the essential complete upgrade or ignore. I always recommend that you do a complete upgrade. So I'm just going to tap right there. It's not that big. It's only 549 kilobytes. So it's not going to take that long and it doesn't even reboot once you're done. So there you go, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.